y'all it's Shanice welcome back to my channel you already know the deal if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already so as you can see I'm coming to you guys with a bare face no makeup on literally this is my skin Whew. as for me I didn't always have the skin that I have now I was really suffering with like pimples and dark marks and Nothing I did would work until I was very consistent and until I found a routine that worked for me. And I like to go for, you know, brightening products just because I deal with a lot of scarring. My skin scars really easily. So anything that, you know, brightens your skin or leaves it radiant, things like that, that's the type of products that I go for. And I am a skincare fanatic, so I do like to switch out my products. I like to use different things, and that's why you guys will see me using different things throughout this video. However, that is after I was consistent, and that was after I found a routine. So you gotta get both of those down, and yeah, then you can explore the skincare world. But yeah, there are a few products that are the same because I don't really like to change those products, and that is shea butter, that is my spin brush, and that is aloe vera gel. Unfortunately, I'm at my orphan's house and I forgot my aloe vera gel at home, so I use something else, but usually it's the aloe vera gel, so keep that in mind. So without further ado, let's just roll these clips. Okay y'all, so this is my nighttime routine, which I think is the most important part of your skincare regimen. This is me with my makeup face, and I hate taking off makeup at the end of the day, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I like to use coconut oil or whatever oil I have, and some makeup wipes or some baby wipes. It all just really depends on what I have. So I'm gonna go in with the coconut oil and just massage it all over my face. And I really like using an oil because it's so much easier to take off my makeup. It gets literally everything off from waterproof makeup to eye makeup to lipstick to lip stains, whatever it is, it gets it off. And it's super gentle on the face and also moisturizing and not to mention all the benefits of oils it might look like I'm being a little harsh on my face but trust me I'm not so now that I think all my makeup's off I'm gonna go in with my vanity planet spin for perfect skin spin brush which is my favorite I have been using this I think for over four years now which is the goat and along with that I'm gonna use the Ole Henriksen Face the Truth Gel Cleanser, which is one of my favorite lines from Ole Henriksen. And I do want to mention that I am rinsing my face and I already washed my hands. Gotta make sure you have clean hands, okay guys? So anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of the gel cleanser on my hand and then I'm gonna massage it into my skin before I use my spin brush. And I'm gonna add a little bit more to the spin brush just to get it going and then I'm going to massage it into my skin and I'm actually using the everyday brush head that comes with it there's also an exfoliating one there's also a body brush which I also use and there's also like a foot scrub so anyways I like to focus on the areas that I have the most scarring which is the sides of my face and underneath my chin that's where I suffer with the most, you know, dark marks and scarring. And this spin brush has really helped me. I can even pop up some comparison pictures to show you how it really improved my skin. So I pretty much use this brush every single morning, especially when I'm wearing makeup. It's a must because it takes off all that gunk and all the things that you thought you thought came off your face but it didn't so yeah this spin brush right here is super important in my regimen and I highly recommend it so if you are interested I do have a coupon code where you can get 70% off I will leave that down below and it will pop up on the screen we're not done yet I'm actually gonna go in with some micellar water or you can use a toner this is usually where I use aloe vera gel but I didn't have it which sucks so I'm gonna use the micellar water and this is gonna just kind of clean the rest of my face and literally get any debris that is still left on there and you'll see that there is still a little bit. At nighttime, you just wanna make sure that your skin is clean and you know, it takes out all the impurities from your face. That's the main objective here. All right, so about three times a week, I do like to use masks. I have a whole bunch of different kinds. It just really depends on how my skin is feeling. I have ones for pores, I have deep clean ones. I also have ones for detoxifying. It really all depends. So I ended up choosing the Neutrogena Deep Clean Mask just because I've been super stressed and I just wanna really detoxify my face. So I'm just gonna apply the mask on. This is one of the sheet masks. Um, these are kind of funny looking, but it's all good. So I'm just gonna apply that to my skin, making sure that it's laying flat. And we're just gonna leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we gon', we gon' dance. We gon' dance. 
we gonna dance. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm so corny, y'all. I'm so corny. Comment down below what song you think I was listening to. Okay, so once about 15 minutes is up, we're gonna take off the mask and we are just going to pat the rest of the product into the skin. And then it also says to rinse this particular mask. So we're just going to rinse it off as well. So unfortunately, my camera didn't let me be great and it got my product out of focus, but this is the Wile or Wheel for Origins Mega Bright Dark Spot Correcting Serum. And I just like to apply a little bit of this to my fingertips and then I work it into my face and I also like to tap it in as well, focusing on the spots where I have the most scarring. Okay, and next up as my moisturizer, we have another Holy Grail, another OG, another one of my favorites another goat. This is the Anu Premium Shea Butter and I apply a little bit of that to my fingertips and I really work that in. Shea Butter is good for scarring, it's good for so many other things, moisturizing benefits. There's just so much to say about Shea Butter. This product makes my skin super bright, moisturized, radiant, and I can say this product helped improve the look of my dark marks. So anyways, as you can see, my skin is glowing and it's time for bed. Okay y'all, good morning. This is my morning skincare routine. I like to keep this routine super simple because I did everything I had to do the night prior. So my face is pretty clean. I like to use the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. It's a very light cleanser. It just removes all of the surface oils from sleeping the night before and that is all I want because my face is pretty much clean. I don't need anything extra. It is what it is. So once I rinse that off, I do like to make sure that I'm closing my pores by applying cold water on my face and it just feels good to do that, especially because it's the morning and it just wakes me up. All right, y'all, so this is some extra-ish. You don't have to do it, but this is like the Pixie Glow Mist, which I like to use because it's so refreshing on my face, and it has like these little sparkle kind of things in it, and I like to glow, so I'm just using that as like a little toner. And then I'm applying the Ole Hendrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil, which again, this is one of my favorite lines in his whole entire collection. So I'm applying some of that, and this just makes you shine, it makes you look radiant, you look so freaking glowy when you put this on, and this also helps with dark marks as well, so applying something like this during the day is amazing. And lastly, I'm using the Ole Henriksen Counter Balance Oil Control Hydrator. So I'm just applying a few pumps of that and putting that all over my face. Again, a lot of these products are kind of expensive, but you can use whatever products you want. Like I said, I am a skincare fanatic, so this is me kind of like branching out and trying in new products, more expensive products, which I don't mind because I feel like you cannot put a price on your skin. You're gonna have your skin for life, so that is what matters. And lastly, we gotta get them lips. So this is the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. I guess it's just like their moisturizer for your lips. I love this. I have so many other ones that I just keep in my purse and everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my lips and we are good to go. So yeah, that is my skincare routine. All the links to everything I use will be down below. Like I said, stay consistent and you will see results. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button if you did and I'll see you guys all in the next one.